Today is the day to put the frame under the body, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Uh, James is here to give me a hand. Uh, we're starting to get the garage cleaned out. A couple of things we need to do with the car. Before that is I want to take all the cage nuts and chase them out with a tap. Uh, make sure there's no problems at all. And we need to do a little bit of grinding on the one mount because uh, it doesn't look like it's going to line up. So we'll get that done and then we will try to put these two pieces back together again. So once again, we have our array of jacks from various places. So the first thing we got to do is get the cross pieces jacked up and get the wheels off. jacks around, put the body mounts in that we can get to. Alright, quick update on kind of what we're doing here. You can see We've got the jack now on the inside of the frame on the passenger side. Then these are on the outside. So now we'll just keep pushing over until this side hits the frame there and then we'll do the same thing with the jacks as far as getting them to the outside. We'll just keep pushing over. So far so good. Slowly.
So we have the body sitting on the four by sixes that are sitting on the frame. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this board right here, which has a groove in it for the pinch weld. And then here, grab the other side of that, James. And then we're going to put that underneath the rocker panel. And then we'll jack up on that to take those out. Front. Now we can put the body mounts in place um, that uh, the boards are in the way. So we'll go around and do all those and then we'll lower the body down. So we're slowly but surely bringing the body down. Um, we're maybe four inches or so from the frame to the bottom of the body. We're just going to keep going until we get about an inch away. It seems that the way we're jacking this up, that the back of the car is, is heavier than the front. Which just It's kind of cantilevered off of those boards on the rocker panel. So what we were able to do is we have two, the two um, mounts in the back. We actually have lined up and guide screws, I'll call them, in there. What I mean by guide screws is, here's the mount, the screw for the actual mount. I bought these long ones, I've got four of them, and we're just going to try to get everything lined up with those, so we don't have to have everything down on the frame first. We basically have everything in alignment, so it's time to totally take all the uh, pressure off of the jacks. You ready, James? Go. Yeah. Let's do the back first. Okay. okay. I'm totally off the pinch well. Okay. How about the front? Ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm on. Come on. Alright. Now it's time to get the rest of the body bolts in. Uh, we have, let's see, the only ones we have left to do are the ones under the door, or uh, even with the door. The fronts are in, the two in the back are in. So we'll finish that up. So we got it all done. All the mounts are in and bolted down. These are the ones in the trunk. Everything lined up pretty good. I'd call that a successful day, James. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So the body's back on the frame. I can't tell you how happy I am. Um, and how well it went. I still can't believe I did this in my 20 by 20 garage with six hydraulic floor jacks. Body off and body on. And just everything really turned out good. It just, it's real nice and solid. So the next step on this whole thing is to dive into the LS motor, which started this whole project in the first place. Um, it's going to be a little bit of time before I can do that. Um, let's see, it is Sunday, uh, November 14th. Yesterday, Saturday the 13th is when we put the body back on the frame. Um, we got the Thanksgiving holiday coming up, and after that I'm going to end up overseas for work for a couple of weeks. So I won't get into the motor until after that. But between the now and I leave for overseas, um, I'm going to work on a couple of new projects that I picked up. Um, I'll show you what those are. Look at those fine specimens. Uh, those are two snowmobiles. Um, kind of barn finds, I guess. I actually got them off my cousin. Um, they haven't run for a while, so uh, the plan is to get these things so that they uh, uh, so that they run. Don't worry, not a restoration project. I just want to get them running so we can have some fun with them uh, this winter. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, so again, we'll dive into this guy 
after that. So stay tuned.